D'Lo Brown, Nicky James talked about the fact that Deanna Barrazzo came to Nicky's home. Where Nicky's family sleeps. What does that mean? Crossing the invisible line. It's crossing that you took this from professional to personal. If you take something to the personal level, it ratchets up the intensity. It makes everything more intense. I saw Mickey earlier today, she had a, she had a hop in her chest. Her 20 plus year career, her two time Women of the Year award, her Jim Thorpe Sports Award, all of those things, but none of them carry the weight of the Knockouts Championship. You know, and, and I talked to Mickey earlier today, and she was in a good spot. Here comes the champion, Deanna Perrazzo. So many people that work to make Impact Wrestling what it is, and Deanna Perrazzo just couldn't care. She's disrespectful to everyone. It doesn't matter. It's all about Deanna Perrazzo. The people that make this place go, the, the Dan Royals, the Kenny Smiths, the, the Ingrid Myron, and Deanna Perrazzo just doesn't even know their names. To me, that's disgusting because Impact is a family. We stand beside one another. And Deanna walks in and tracks mud all over the carpet and puts her feet up on the table. Come on. Here's the thing, until someone stops her, until someone takes that knockout championship away from her, Deanna's gonna keep doing what Deanna does and it's about taking care of herself. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is upon us. The legendary David Penzer with the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, Bound for Glory continues with this Knockouts Championship match. It is scheduled for one fall. Your referee, Brandon Toll. Introducing first to my right, the challenger from Richmond, Virginia. Hardcore country, Mickey James. One more time into the spotlight for the challenger. Her opponent to my left from Hackenstown, New Jersey. She is the Reina Duranas champion and the defending knockouts champion, the virtuosa Diana Perrazzo. On a night where we inducted Awesome Kong into the Impact Hall of Fame, what would the Knockouts division be without names like Gail, Kim, and Awesome Kong? But D'Lo, the question is, where is the Knockouts division going? Because it has been firmly secured around the waist of Deanna Peraza. It has. You, you invoke the name of Gail, Kim, and Awesome Kong. They are the foundation in which this Knockout division is built on. But each new floor that's being built. Oh, Go. right there, Mickey. Come Mickey's right at it. Referee Brandon Tall doing the symbolic holding up of the title. Mickey's not waiting. Oh! Here we go. The match is off and running. Have we had a bell yet? Yes, the bell sounded before the introductions. And now the referee has started his count. Mickey talked about it with our colleague Gia Miller earlier. She talked about that she's gone through self-doubt, that she's questioned her self-worth. Again, we implore everyone to look up the Tag Me In campaign. The wrestling community is here for you. And you see, Mickey is very fired up. I was mentioning earlier, I talked to Mickey for, for a short bit, and I could, I could feel the, the yeah. stress in her voice, mm -hmm. and she was with a, a, a calm... Oh, wow! But Mickey understands the burden upon her, right? Yes. Out of the shadows of the fabulous Moolers and Mildred Burks of the world, the path was blazed by like Wendy Richter and Misty Blue, and then then we go to like Lita and Sherry, Jackie Moore, Bull McConnell, Minami Toyota, Luna Vachon. All of those great names have paved the way for this match right here tonight. And right now, this is an important match for the legacy of the Knockouts Division for Mickey James. She understands what it means to be Knockouts Champion. Where are they going? Let's take it back to where this match has to end if Mickey wants to be champion. Back inside the ring. Mickey James is a great wrestler. Is she a better wrestler than Deanna Parada? And I'm just getting word right now. The, the official bell has not started. That is why the referee is not counting on the floor yet. This match is not officially underway yet. It's a great point there. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. 
So now I ask you the question, then, does that benefit Mickey or Deanna? It benefits Deanna oh. right now because if Deanna gets a situation like this, she can inflict a lot of damage. So the fact that the quote-unquote clock hasn't started yet, yes. you think that benefits the champ? I think it definitely benefits the champ because once that bell rings, you've already inflicted a ton of damage. Look at Deanna dragging Mickey back to the ring. You know, it's an interesting juxtaposition between this match and our main event. You have Mickey James, the, uh, the, the more experienced, but not the champion against Deanna Peraza, the, the great champion. On the other side, you have Christian Cage, far more experienced and the champion against Josh Alexander. It's an interesting side, two different ones to the same coin. Definitely two different sides of the same coin, but here, you know, I'm getting clarification again. We've got to get both wrestlers in the ring in a neutral stance before we can ring this bell. That's yeah, very important to point out, given the magnitude and the stakes of this match. There it is. There is the bell, officially underway now. Knockouts, title on the line. Champion, Deanna Perrazzo, challenger, Mickey James. And now the clock is ticking officially now, but there's been five minutes worth of damage that's been handed out. And this is the position Deanna wants to be in. D'Lo, talk about being the veteran in the locker room. Talk about walking through and seeing all those young faces and saying to yourself, I can do this one more time. I've been here before. That's what Mickey James is going through. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a burden, it's a curse, but it's also an, a sense of honor. When you walk in the locker room and everyone walks up to you and says, I'm here because of the things you did. I'm wrestling because I got to see you. And then you have to go out there and perform at the highest level to show them I can still do this. But at the same token, then, is it I'm going to beat you because of how great you are, and if I beat you, I, I inherit your greatness? It's a double-edged sword. Yes, it is. That is a double-edged sword. So oh. Up and take over there by the knockouts champion, Diana Peraza. She's turned away all comers. As Mickey James added to the list, no, not just yet. And if you look at the list of people that Deanna Perrazzo has defeated over the last few months, it is a who's who of the knockouts division. Deanna is on such a roll over this last calendar year. With all due respect to those wrestlers, none of them were named Mickey James. And that is a very, very solid point. Right. Folks, we want to say thank you to all of our great fans all around the world. We've been trending top 10 all night nice. long. The hashtag nice. bound for glory. What a great night. And you, look, you can just, I, I'm looking right now at Diana, and you can feel that, that aura of confidence building in her. She's right where she wants to be in this match. The pace and the rhythm is, is what Diana's looking for. And now she's looking down at Mickey James going, it's not a matter of if, but when I decide to put you away. Hard stomps now. Since the bell has sounded, there's been minimal offense from the challenger. You know, that, that, that first onslaught, there, yeah. it's, it's not been the same. And, and, and Mickey has really not gotten out of the starting block. Does Mickey have enough bullets left in the gun, for lack of a better term? Did she fire her best shot early? And that is the question that only this match in time will tell. Um, but right now, I can tell you that all the bullets are being fired by Deanna Peraza right now. Mickey's hurt. Ooh. Don't count out Mickey James just yet. Back elbow gives her a moment. And now, Mickey, offense in mind. Uh oh, no, no. Deanna's no. too strong. You saw Deanna's face. S grip there by Deanna. Oh. Deanna had that scouted turned into a modified power bomb. And look, it was the grip that Deanna had around the waist, yes. that S grip. It just shows you, hang on, stack, cover here. The, the catch wrestling background of Deanna Perrazzo. And I don't care what anyone says. You're in there with a catch wrestler, you're going to lose every time. If you look at Deanna, Deanna, and she hasn't even unloaded her, her arsenal of offense and submission maneuvers. Deanna knows how to manipulate joints, and she knows how to manipulate the bodies. Look, and there's that S-grip you're talking about, Boom. and straight power bomb, and that had to knock all the wind out of Mickey James. Oh, you don't Here poke the bear, don't go. poke the bear. Hardcore country. 
Needed the gut, doubles over Mickey James. Mickey in Virginia is for lovers. That caught Tiana right on the point of the chin. And now Mickey James building all the cross body. Ooh, oh, he got the man. worst of that one. I, it's hard to tell. Both, it's just like, it was like a 20 mile an hour car wreck. This could either be a turning point for Mickey James, or this could be the beginning of the end in the favor of Deanna Perrazzo. Referee Brandon Toll will start his count. The Impact Faithful rising to the occasion. And look at this, look at this right here, double cross body. And I don't know who got it worse. Both women look worse for wear. They've been down now for some 15, 20 seconds right now. James getting her shoulders off the mat. The surge of adrenaline pushing through Mickey James. She wills herself up. Does she have enough? Oh, both women Ooh. just exchanging blows right now. Oh, Mickey just bent backwards. It's amazing I can get so much force on those forms without much body leverage. Here. Oh. Nicely done there. Regal takeover. Now Mickey James shaking out the cobwebs off the ropes for momentum. Big kick. Here it is. Here it is. Two. No, no. Mickey just fell, stumbled into the cover. I don't think Mickey's all there just yet. No, you can tell that by the way the cover happened because Mickey definitely did not go for traditional cover. It was just let me get on top and let me make her kick out. But you can see Mickey was not all there. She's still recovering. Just like that, Deanna dips out of the way. And now we get to Mickey Rana. Oh, flapjack here. Mickey James. And now, what's the old song? I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. This is your time right now. What an amazing career it's been for Mickey James to cap it off by defeating Deanna Perrazzo would be absolutely legendary. What does Mickey James have in mind here? Perched high above the ring. MJ's gonna Mickey fly. On the top. Legs are hooked. It's all. Oh. It was a glazed look in Mickey's eyes as she reached for the leg hook. That move has spelled the end for many, many a match. But tonight, Deanna Prado said, no, I'm kicking out. I'm still going, because I'm the knockouts champion. Virtuoso, Mickey, Virtuoso, Mickey, Look at Mickey off the top, sits in perfectly, reaches back, hooks it in tight. Oh, Mickey was going for her DDT. Got caught on the chin. Got Is it. Mickey out? No. no. You thought she had her. I thought it was done. I thought it was done there. That 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 jumping pup kick caught Mickey right on the chin. Mickey went for her DDT. Normally when she hits that, it's all over. Deanna Peraza would not get caught. And now the pace of this match is right where Deanna wants it. Yeah, Deanna, Deanna's going for her pile driver, her Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit, this no. Spells the end when Deanna hits that as well. Back body drop. Mickey with those educated <laughs> feet. Great space. Now you saw how Deanna turned her body. And look at the counter by Mickey. Back onto her oh. feet. Great wrestling. Can she hit the difference. DDT! 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 Go for the cover. Can Mickey cover? Cover! No! Dilo. Whoa! Dude, I, I've never seen anyone kick out of that from Mickey. And you can look at the reaction of Mickey. Mickey has never had anybody kick out of that. Dude, there was a split second where Mickey didn't go for the cover. There was that second of cobwebs. Or, or is it time catching up with Mickey James? It, 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 I could just, it just felt, Mickey has never had anyone kick out of it. You could see the expression on her face and, whoa. Now, now it's about composure. Mickey, Mickey seems a little lost right now. Right. You can see, she's flustered. She's she's out of her rhythm. She's just going in there willy-nilly, just right at it, not even not even with a game plan. And now the champion, head high, looking to go back on the offense there. 
did Mickey throw her best punch? I think Mickey just shot her best shot, and it wasn't enough. And now here, here comes go. the Queen's, Queen's Gambit. Gambit. The end is nigh. No. Mickey kicking, getting out of the way. Smart. But what does Mickey James have left? Mickey protecting her back. Uh oh, by design. That kick there. You can see that was Mickey baiting uh, and Deanna in on that one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Mickey. Oh, there we up. go. Arm bar's locked in. Mickey didn't protect her back. No. Didn't protect the arm. Look at the hyperextension on the arm here. Is Mickey James going to quit? Is Mickey going to tap out? Anytime these joint locks are on, you want to get your, your chest off the mat to alleviate oh, pressure. No, no, oh, no, Oh, no. If Deanna can lock those hands, which she does. Oh, look at Mickey. Oh, got the feet under the ropes. Mickey reached for the rope. Deanna caught her in the submission. Mickey so smart. Putting her feet under the ropes. It's the same as it's grabbing the, same the ropes. Thing. You break the plane, it's an invisible plane, yeah. it goes up and down. And again, Mickey's back is exposed, and Deanna Perrazzo will take advantage. Deanna's like a pit bull. Nope. Once she gets wait, locked wait, wait. on, oh, roundhouse kick over the top rope. Still, Mickey's eyes are rolling uh -oh. in the back of her head. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, Queen's oh, Gambit! Shots. No, an assistant Queen's Gambit. There oh, it is. Out. The difference between Deanna Perazzo and everyone else. Two, it's no. What? What the hell? Striker. What the hell? Deanna Perazzo kicked out of Mickey James's DDT. Mickey James has kicked out of the Queen's Gambit. Odds are even. What's going to happen next? And right now, Deanna is flustered. And what's, what's Deanna doing? Looking for something. Oh, she got a chair. So now she's going to protect her title. Yes, it? just being frustrated. She's just going to end it by DQ. DQ, the champion, keeps the title. Is Deanna Perazzo flustered? Has Deanna Perrazzo run out of weapons? Referee Brandon Toll showed he's in control and took that chair away. Still, because Mickey kicked out, it doesn't mean that the effects of the move aren't still there. Deanna Perrazzo has to capitalize now. Deanna's up top, high rent district here, and Mickey seems out of it. There's a couple fighting. Uh oh. Mickey's gaining a little momentum. She's biting her. She's biting her. She's biting her. Mickey James will do whatever it takes to get back to the top. High Mickey above. coming off. What? No! Brandon Toll's out! Mickey James has hit Brandon Toll! Deanna Perrazzo pulled Brandon in front. Don't uh -oh. kid yourself. Not for a single solitary second. Uh -oh. Deanna Perrazzo knows she can't beat Mickey James. She's gonna oh, have kick! Mickey caught that chair. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? No! You saw Deanna's eyes open. You saw the whites of her eyes. And just like that, the whites of Mickey James's eyes as well. Everyone down. Striker, I have a question. What is it going to take for one of these women to get the one, two, three? What is it going to take? We've seen kickouts on both ends. We've seen chairs, referees down. But what we have not seen is the best of Mickey James. And perhaps we will never get the chance. Hard palm strike there by the champion, Deanna Perrazzo. Uh -oh. oh, She's going for divorce boy. court of a second rope. Not only would that end this match, that would end Mickey's career. That would end Mickey's career. Mickey, Mickey, uh oh, look, look. Right. Got the arm bar on. Yeah, but it's on the ropes. But it's on the ropes. You've got to break it. The hold, I mean. Yeah, Dion was trying to break Mickey's Give arm. Mickey's arm just hanging there. Oh, oh wow! Oh, referee Brandon told me he's checked. That could have, that could have separated an AC joint. And look at that, Deanna just jerks on the wrist. Well, everything Deanna does. Uh, mocking Mickey James. Oh. That will not happen. You will not mock Mickey James inside of a wrestling ring. She's given everything to this sport. Perhaps the sport will give it back. Here we go. Cover. She did it. Mickey James did it. Here's the winner. The new champion. Mickey James. Nearly a decade after she.
she at last done it. Mickey James is once again knockouts champion. And Mickey, I can tell you, as someone that has known you your entire career, you deserve this. You've earned this. Pro wrestling loves you. Mickey James is the new knockouts champion. The falling tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the revolution, Serena and the Cowboy, James Storm. The story goes back some time. It all started when James Storm tried to recruit Mickey James to join the revolution. James Storm tried to manipulate the engaged couple Magnus and Mickey James got their son Donovan involved in this situation. James Storm, his plan backfired. Mickey James said, I don't know what you're doing. I'm in love with Magnus. We have a son together. I'm not going to be a part of your revolution. They had an incredible match did Storm and Magnus at Slammiversary. And now it's come to this. And their opponents, the team of Mickey James and Magnus. They said it before, they've never teamed together. Mickey James hasn't been inside a six-sided impact ring in nearly two years. And Mickey James doesn't want to wait a second longer. And Magnus, it's the jump on Storm. And they are off, if you will, Magnus already taking control of the Cowboy James Storm. He said in his interview Ooh. that it wasn't going to be a matchup, it was going to be a fight, and he's taking the fight to the Cowboy right now, Josh. Magnus and James Storm, they battle all over the impact zone in their non-sanctioned match at Slammiversary. It could have gone either way, Pope. They both cracked bottles over each other's heads, and it just so happened that Storm would fall on top of Magnus to secure the victory. Indeed, it could have went either way. Both men left it all in the ring. It was a, a, one of the greatest matchups that we've ever seen in the Impact Zone. Kudos to both of them. But right now, Dragon Rice are on the line. Right now, somebody wants this to end. But who's going to come out on top? We'll find out here. Serena shot to the kidneys of Magnus from behind. James Storm couldn't have found a better recruit than Serena to join the revolution. Serena knows Mickey James for many years. Absolutely. Oh. That kick to the back of the head by the Cowboy from the corner. What was going to bring that point up, Josh? All the way back to 2005, Mickey James took Serena under her wing. They became best friends, making some sort of a mentor, if you will, and now it's come down to this. We'll see what happens here. Storm and Serena against Magnus and Mickey James on impact. We're back on Wednesday Night Impact. It's Mickey James and Magnus teaming together for the first time ever against James Storm and Serena. And Mickey just tired of waiting. Boom! The backstabber. By James Storm, this could be it. Yeah, you're right, Mickey James wants to get her hands on Serena. Feels that she's been betrayed by her longtime friend. Serena joining the revolution. Serena saying that Mickey James let fame and fortune go to her head. And James Storm continues to antagonize Mickey James. Great choice of words, not just with her, but with Magnus as well, because check it out, James Storm just hit the backstabber, and Serena chokes Magnus while he's on the road. James Storm hit the backstabber and didn't even go for a cover. James Storm wants to beat down and humiliate and embarrass Magnus. That's what it's about right now. When yes. James Storm is in control, he's very dangerous because he's calculated. And he simply wants Mickey to suffer while watching him inflict damage upon her fiance. A 
the window of opportunity, slightly open for Magnus. Storm may have just shut that. Cover by Storm and Magnus pops three and two. You know, that was kind of a nonchalant cover, if you will. Magnus, the former champion, James Storm knows for a fact after that matchup and anniversary, you got to do more oh. than just lay on top. How disgusting was that to Nicky James? Uncalled for, disgusting. That's James Storm. He just wants to humiliate everybody. Storm, sent there. Drops the leg. Goes for the cover. Again, nonchalant, likes a dancing cover. Absolutely, as, as I was saying before, he knows when you're gonna go for a cover on someone like Magnus, you gotta hook the leg, you gotta clinch it in there real tight. You know, but imagine you're in the ring and your fiance standing on the apron and she's watching and she's cheering you on. You wanna do everything you can to not only protect your family, but you wanna you wanna look good in the ring. Oh, gotcha. the girl watching. Exactly, Daddy. You gotta go home with her, so you gotta do your best. Oh! Well, you gotta give her your all. You would think that Magnus and Mickey James would have great in-ring chemistry. But so far, it's been Storm. He's, he's isolated Magnus inside the ring. Storm has dialed up the perfect game plan with Serena in this matchup. And you know, it's like I said before, Josh, it's more so I believe that Storm just wants Mickey out there to say, hey, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to destroy your man. I've destroyed your friendship that you thought you had with Serena because I got her to be a part of Revolution. And James Storm finishes psychological quest. Can James Storm finish what he started in trying to tear apart Magnus and Mickey James? Lump buster there by Storm. What a night it's been so far here on Impact Wrestling. And of course, we invite all of you to subscribe to the Impact Wrestling official YouTube channel. We can see exclusive clips from all your favorite matches and premiering this upcoming Monday, August 3rd, we bring you four brand new TNA Digital Original Web Series. They start this Monday, August 3rd. Shows like My First Day, and the knockouts workout. You'll see those starting next week. Both men, Josh, right now, knowing each other so well, both went for a cross body, both had to make the tag in the females. The knockouts are in. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Mickey James inside the six-sided ring. Mickey James taking it to Serena. Mickey James looks Nip phenomenal. How great. It's Mickey James looking right now. Does it look one beat off, one step off, if you will? Mickey James looking to secure the victory here. Flies through the air, takes out Serena, and there's James Storm. James Storm needs to get his damn hands off of Mickey James. This isn't good, Josh. This is not good. Magnus is down and out on the outside. Scratch Mickey, claws. And Mickey James! Slap right to the face, Serena from behind. The action is certainly picked up here as Serena takes out Mickey. Nice gut buster by Serena to Mickey James. Magnus back up. Spear to James Storm. It's Mickey and Serena who are legal though. And Serena calling for Koya. Serena is calling for the backup. Could it be all the revolution or is she just calling for Koya? Bring out the heavy. Bring out that big walking stick, that beating yeah. stick that Koya carries around. You never know with them. Mickey James now showing signs of life. Serena reversal, Mickey hard into the steel steps. Nikki James was trying to play with fire. And there is Koya. There he is. With the beating stick in hand. And Koya misses Magnus. Takes out James Storm. Thanks for coming, Koya. See you bye. This could be it, Josh. Magnus is going for oh. Powerbomb. Powerbomb in the center of the ring. Serena from behind. Magnus 
Vegas. Takes care of Serena. Mickey's back in the ring. Stalking her prey is Mickey James right now. And Mickey James with the DDT on Serena. And Mickey James and Magnus are victorious. Your winners, Magnus and Mickey James. What a win for Magnus and Mickey James here on Wednesday Night Impact. And now, Mickey James is going to take out James Storm for everything Storm has done. Mickey James laying down her own hardcore justice during this matchup. Congratulations to Mickey James and Magnus. The victory kiss. And now Mickey James and Magnus can rid themselves of the revolution. Ladies, now that I have your attention, yeah, I'm gonna be telling you something that you're gonna wanna hear. Like I mentioned last week, in three days, the four of you at Bound for Glory for the TNA Knockouts title. And let me restate, that will not be a tag match. No, no, no. Be you, yes, Madison, against Tara, against Velvet, against Angelina Love, all battling it out for the TNA gold. <laughs> oh, and like I mentioned, this is no damn BFF club. We're not here to make friends. We're not gonna play dress up and ring around the rosy with our Barbie dolls. This is a competition. And to ensure that each and one of you skanks play by my rules, I'll be signing a special guest referee. <laughs> Stakes get raised even higher. Miss Tessmacher with the blockbuster announcement that Mickey James is going to be the special referee this Sunday for the four way title match. Well, we saw Mickey arrive. What was well, the ladies? Pleasantly surprised. No warm welcome for your newest TNA knockout. Oh, that's sad. I mean, it seemed like everyone knew I was sure to make an impact here at TNA. But who knew I'd be bound for glory? <laughs> you were bound for failure. You see, it would be my honor to crown the new TNA Knockouts champion. Me! But rest assured, as I hold your hand high in the air victorious, I have my eyes on one thing and one thing only. Because you see, if there's one thing Mickey James does, it's make history. So then it would only be your pleasure when I take that championship from you and mark the pages in history as the first woman to hold every single prestigious championship known to womankind. Now that's epic. See you Sunday. Well, so we know what, 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 not only three challengers Sunday, but also Mickey James is the referee. Mickey James, a former five-time women's champion. She's gonna be a player, I guarantee it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is your main event of the evening. Inside the Steel Page. Introducing first of all, revenge earlier tonight when she busted up the live lip-syncing of Tara. 
<laughs> Live loop sync. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> and now, introducing her awesome. opponents. She is Tara! I obviously met JB and his lovely town. <laughs> All right, buddy. Tara does not seem to be in a jovial mood. The challenge was thrown down early tonight by Mickey. Right at Tara. First time ever, baby. Two knockouts and a steel cage on impact. And Taz, I think a lot of us, we anticipated, we expected that the Falls Count Anywhere match this past Sunday in Final Resolution would finally settle the score between these two. Merely the next chapter in what has been a physical, and I think safe to say an out of control grudge between Mickey James and Tara and it needs a steel cage to confine these two wild knockouts. Rabbit more or less was the gist that I got from Mick, what Mickey James had said out here earlier tonight. That, that look, look, I'm sick of this. Oh, let's get this thing settled. And, and look, it's almost like shades of final resolution falls can anywhere. They're outside the cage. Get in the cage. Let's get it going, girls. Well, Mickey James not wanting to wait for Terry to get in went outside back onto the arena floor to meet her and oh the two exchanging and like Taz said it picks up where it left off at final resolution and, and for the past month or two here in TNA the way these two have been going at oh, it. Oh. It's a, a, almost as if Mickey could she just couldn't wait she couldn't wait for Tara to get inside the cage she had to come out and start hitting her Mickey surveys the situation after dumping Tara back inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got to take a commercial break. When we return to Impact, more Tara and Mickey in the steel. We are back on Impact. This is our Impact main event. First time ever on this Impact broadcast on Spike TNA knockouts locked inside the steel cage. Tara, Mickey James, this is the way we're going to settle it once and for all, Taz. Yup, and you win this match, pinfall, submission, or escape the cage, so... Multiple options. Absolutely, look at this! Oh my god, how powerful and impressive was Tara! Could be the pin, this could do it! No, just two. What, Tara just spun Mickey around Man, that was a powerful drive to the canvas. Totally, totally awesome. And speaking of awesome, on a side note, the deal with, Ta with Tara and Generation Me, that, yes. know, what's awesome is that cougarism in her. I like that kind of... You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Oh, yeah, we've seen it for, for a while here in, in TNA. Yeah, wow, look at this. Oh, my God! Talk about impact. Mickey James just driving the skull of Taro right back on the canvas. Mickey James established as the number one contender to the knockout champion, Madison Rain, but Madison keeps saying, that Mickey's got to go through Tara before she can get that title shot. Yeah, well, and that's a, that's a tough brick wall to break down in Tara. Look at that snap mare, how quick she peeled that off, did Mickey? Here comes Mickey. <laughs> Full speed ahead, drop kick right into the face, leads to a pin, and referee Earl well, Hebner counts two. Speaking of Madison Rain on Knockouts Champion, I mean, look, we've, we've seen. I mean, you know the friendship between Tara and Madison. I mean, let's, let's face it here. I mean, Tara laid down and basically gave gave Madison Rain the, uh, the knockout champion. I was going to say, is it friendship or a business relationship? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Somewhere in between. I wouldn't mind being in between the both of them, but I get your point. But gotcha. right now, Tara, look at that snap suplex. Right in to an advantage position for her. She rolls over and... Looks like a guillotine. Oh, it sure is. Yeah, it's a guillotine. I It'd be a good opportunity if I was Tara to, oh, she's gonna bring her up to her base. I would have got a body scissor. That's a good way to get a nice choke. A front choke is a gu guillotine. A lot of live audience here in the impact zone kind of torn. Some of these, uh, some of our fans here are like Tara. And Tara able to turn it around on Mickey. You know, from the time that Mickey James came to TNA, she's made her goal very clear. She wants to be the TNA knockout champion. Oh, oh that kick. And Mike, from, oh. uh, from a, uh, me as a retired wrestler, and I've got to know a lot of female wrestlers throughout my career, I know for a fact 
how big of an honor it is for these two ladies, these two knockouts, to main event impact, not only in the steel cage, but to main event and impact. You don't see that much in pro wrestling that, that the females, unfortunately for them, don't get an opportunity to main event wrestling shows. TNA here, all girls get it done a little bit different. They don't play around, they go full speed, hence why they're in the main event in the cage right here on impact. I think you'd agree with me that these two have earned it with the physicality oh, yeah. that we have seen between Mickey James and Terry that goes back weeks and weeks. Yeah, no, no, absolutely, absolutely. And looks like now Mickey, as she's ramming Tara's face, looks like she might want to uh, climb out of this bad boy here. That's one of the options. Taz talked about it earlier. It's pin, it's submission, or it's escape the cage. You can climb over the top, or you can go out the cage door to win this matchup between Tara, Mickey. First time ever that oh we see God. the knockout oh, oh, oh. to the cage, and this is. What the hell is this here? This is dangerous. This is, oh my God! Jeez. Man, that was, man, that was an ugly landing. I don't know if Tara, if Tara landed on her hip, or it looked like, let's see, take another look back. at this here. I don't know if, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. That was nasty, man. That, that was ugly, ugly landing. Mickey with that close-up shot right there. You can see how dazed and confused. Yeah. Well, taking risk, right? You know, you take risk in big moments in, in your main event, and you know the pressure's on you to compete. You know, who wants to win this thing more? So they both took a risk. They both landed nasty. And it's Tara who gets up to a knee first oh. and then up to her feet and, and quickly goes on the offense and driving the boots into Mickey James, but... That, that's... See, that's a, that's a veteran, that's a former world champion in Tara. Both these ladies are former world champions, but see, Tara, no wasted motion, right? She sees she's got Mickey where she wants her. She doesn't waste time. She keeps the intensity up. Good point. Oh, oh my God. God. Jeez. God, it's almost, it's, just, it's almost like a kind of disturbing, Mike, to watch, you know, uh, ladies kind of just, the women just, smash each other with the steel uh, like you that. Know, I, mean, under, I, under, I don't want to sound chauvinistic, I was but I'm gonna just... say, under normal circumstances, I would agree with oh you, but God, after man. seeing the way that these two have beaten the hell out of each other here in TNA... Man, this is a steel cage here, Mike. They are there. It's taking it up a notch. I'm gonna agree with you there. They're trapped the together. knockouts in the cage. I wouldn't want to be referee or Hebner in this thing, officiating this between these two Hellcats. Wow, I think I think I think Mickey's hurting, but I think Taryn out of gate. The, the cage there is open. Is. She's gonna escape. She's gonna win this thing. On the verge of victory, Taryn. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 door. And, oh, Mickey from behind cuts her off. Gonna try and drag her back in. Ooh. Mickey back to the but offense. Round the whoa, 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 Taz. Whoa. James versus Terry. Oh, man. It's win by pin, it's win by submission, or by escaping the cage through the door or over the top. I mean, we're watching, we're watching history being made in front of us. We don't know when this is gonna happen again. These two ladies, these two knockouts, main eventing an impact now on reaction. I mean, uh, uh, on Spike TV here in a steel cage, first time ever. Good stuff right here by both these knockouts. Looked like Terry was gonna go for the oh, widow's God. peak. Mickey avoided the peak and then just tossed her right into the side of the cage. It looks like uh, Tara kind of favoring her shoulder. Oh my God, she's gonna get the... Oh, oh man, oh what? Oh, uh, she's hurt. Tara landed on an elbow on the apron. I've discussed you know, in the past here, Mike, about the apron of the ring. It's the hardest part of the ring. There's just no give at there's, that point, is there? There's steel corner bead around the ring and I've had a joint. My knee hit that corner bead. It hurts like hell. And that's why you see Tara is grasping at her elbow. I didn't see her elbow really hit the corner up. You can see it yeah, right there. It's swelling up. See it, yeah. Yeah, she's 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 having a hard time with that arm, it looks like. The chance is there for Mickey to take advantage of this and sends Tara reeling that time. But, so, but, she knows she's hurt. She's trying to get out, Mike. She's trying to escape town. Good strategy. But, but think, about, on, think about the injured arm, right? On. So it's, that's another thing. It, it sounds like a good plan, but then it's, it's just not going to be effective here. 
And you, and you cannot blame Mickey James. He's keeping the heat on her, keeping the pressure on her. What are we doing here? Boy, risky, dangerous again. She's got the same thing in mind. Oh my God. Trying to kick. Look at those kicks. Oh God, right in the, right in the sternum. Oh, oh God. God, oh, Tara's in so much pain. Mickey's just, just escaped. End this thing already. Mickey James, looking, yeah, yeah. headed up to the top of the steel. You're looking at your winner. I don't see how. Well, look, 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 Tara now. Tara's. He's up to a ver. Oh my God! No, you got. Come on! You got to be kidding me! Don't do it, Mickey! Don't do this! Don't do this! My God! Fast press off the top of the cage, and Mickey James wins it. Oh, now goes on to the match. Mickey James! I got freaking goosebumps, man! I have never ever seen a female wrestler do something like that. Put all the 15 feet in the air. That's press right off the top. Look at that. That was amazing. She might have blew a knee out in the process. Then Mickey, both these women, busted their ass in there. They should be credited for that. That was phenomenal athleticism by both knockouts. No shame, in my opinion, to Tara in her loss. Congratulations to Mickey James. Maybe this thing is settled for once and for all. That was great Listen, stuff. Period to the end of the sentence as hurt. far as these two are concerned. And in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, Mickey James proves herself as the true number one contender. Just eliminated the roadblock. There's nothing stopping Mickey James from fulfilling her goal as the knockout champ. Madison Rain, beware. The following contest is scheduled for one call. I'll tell you, Mickey's, Mickey would still look hot even if she loses this match here and gets her pretty head shaved. She run around like that uh, Sinead Connor. What's her name? The Sinead, uh, Sinead oh, what's her name? Yeah, close enough. Sinead, you don't even know her name. Sinead O'Connor. Yeah, that one. The Sinead Connor. She's been around anymore? I don't even know. I know it wasn't Pat O'Connor. <laughs> can't top that. And now, introducing her opponent from Seattle, Washington. She is the DNA Knockouts Champion. Oh, uh, look at Madison, the queen bee, the knockouts champ. She's got those scissors in her hands and that massive tiara. Tiara, right? Yeah. Not yeah, good. Got that thing on. She's the queen, baby, and she's just... Oh, and she's not afraid to tell the world. Yeah, in anticipation of not only keeping oh, the knockout she, title, but yeah, winning no, this match, Mike, she's got, got like, the scissors and... Oh, hold on, Mike, she's got like a little barber kick going on over there. Look at this. She's got little clippers. What she got in that little purse thing? Like a regular beautician. No? Get your nails done, pedicure, facial, nail cure. What's the hand? I don't know, but you sound way too familiar with that. With my wife, I spent a lot of money on oh. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, old kid in the side, I mean, Mickey's coming into this thing hurt. Her shoulder, you, could, you saw when she came out, her shoulder's bandaged up and stuff. I mean, we saw the motorcycle incident recently on Impact. That was no joke. What did you think of the Queen Madison Rain's decision to tell Tara to stay in the back for this match? Well, I think it shows that that Madison is uh, she's legit. She's confident. She's very confident. She was nervous about going to this cage match, hence why she had you know her, her, her buddy uh, Tara uh, do the, her dirty deed and run this girl over with a motorcycle. And now she feels like I'm assuming. I think Mickey uh, Madison's feeling like Mickey's hurt. She's going into this thing hurt now into this cage match. And the pressure is on Mickey, I would think. So she can get a head shake, what could be embarrassing to Mickey unless she's into bald heads, I don't know. But that's what it's really about, is the knockouts championship. Wow, you turn, you turn the queen as being confident. I think confident left the building about a year and a half ago. She's way beyond that to the point of being just so cocky about being the oh, wait, knockout wait, wait. champion. Oh, I had to know how to deal, deal with Tierra's. Take the bobby pin out, Earl. Excuse me? I don't know. I didn't have Tierra's back in the Earl's day when he was a kid back in the 1820s. <laughs> Put it on Earl. 
That'd be worth the price of admission. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki seems to be all business here. Body language. Yeah, that great close up of the face of Mickey James told think, the story I for think both the, of I us. think the word you're looking for, because I'll tell you what you're trying to say, is poise, Mike. Poise. Mickey's got poise here. Right? When she's got her game face on, she means all business, just like you said. Tell me, I'm poise. Oh, oh, God. Oh, man. Face first into the steel. Oh, no. God, again. Look at this, Mickey James. Oh my God, another one! Oh! Mickey keeps grabbing at her shoulder, but good God! Right away, before this thing even got rolling, Madison is in trouble here. Mickey gonna try and fight through that pain. Oh! Jumps into the air, drives her down. That was DMP. nasty. That was in spite of the separated shoulder. What the? Covers and pins, and Mickey James has done it. The winner of the match. Are you kidding me? What a, I got out of nowhere. Mickey James is the new Knockouts champion. She's finally done it. From the moment that Mickey James arrived in TNA, she has been intent on one thing and one thing only, and it's having possession of a Knockout Championship, and she just accomplished her goal in wow. a minute. And Mike, I mean, Madison came out here prancing around, doing her Queen Bee thing showing how cocky and conceited she is. And the whole while, as we pointed out, Mickey just sat and waited, and patiently waited, picked her spot, attacked, attack, attack. Bam! Congratulations to the new knockout champ. Keeping her hair. <laughs> Hardcore country. Yeah, Mickey James. In spite of the separated shoulder, Mickey James uses the jumping DDT after tossing Madison all over the cage to win that knockout championship. Wow. And think of this. The six plus month reign as knockout champion for Madison Reign comes to an end tonight at Lockdown. Hardcore Country's got the gold.